Okay, they're gonna cut it. Oh, okay, it's just like trying to move. Why are they screaming? Okay, it's just touching it. It's dead, it's fully dead. I, I think I chucked it full. I you think, think I, I thought you were a doctor. No, 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 not a deer. No, not of that deer. Okay, it happens to Pikachu. I love her. It's dead. I promise it's you, dead. it's dead. It's dead. Karina is too adorable. I love her. I love Karina. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. I don't think you can tell the person who's connected to a deer via its antlers plunged in her stomach that she's catastrophizing. Okay, well that is oh my God. that is fair enough. Um, look, Monica, I know <laughs> she's this is unbelievably about. scary, but yeah. we really need to cut this to get you out of here. Let's just not scream anymore. Okay. Can we just talk about how hot Karina looks with the glasses? She looks good with the glasses. <laughs> Those weird glasses. Love it. Love it. Well, I mean, Karina looks hot with everything. It's pretty much annoying. Yeah. Come on, Becky. Let's get you to Graceland so you can get checked out too. I'm fine. Lord. You're not fine. You're going to the hospital. Come on. Yeah. Go to the hospital. Get checked out. You're not okay. I don't think he's a bad guy, but he's not like a likable guy. You know, he has an attitude. You know, but I think if he if he gets help, he might be okay. Theo's neighborhood. He's having feelings. You're out. You're good. Yeah. You, you're headed you're to the out. hospital and you're on to the rest of your life. I'm not this. Living here, being here, this being my life. I can't. Oh God, Korea is like, like my husband. Dog. I really love him. Well, after this, I'm pretty sure he'll live wherever you want. <laughs> <laughs> not just where we're living. I loved the city. And my life there and who I was there, I mean, more than who I am with my husband. More than... Maybe him, I think. I ignored my gut, and now there is an antler in it. Okay, I think maybe you should just talk to him first. This probably isn't a great time to be making any giant decisions. You've been through extreme stress. No, it's the perfect time. <laughs> you guys saved my life. She's like very I have decided. to do something with the rest of it so it feels like mine again. Okay, let's load her up. Oh God, Karina, don't listen to her. Don't, don't. It's not the same situation. <laughs> don't relate, don't relate. What the hell was he thinking jumping into the fire like that? Trying for a redemption? A desperate move yeah. to be brave? No, 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 that's not what that was. Uh -huh. Yeah, Becca jumping through that fire wasn't bravery. That was something else. A last call for help or something. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> that was incredible! <laughs> My God! <laughs> and we killed it! Oh. Up here! Up here! <laughs> Oh my god, are you? <laughs> am I being an idiot? Am I am I am I ignoring my god? Oh my god. And then Larry near too. I mean uh, metaphorically. Uh, Am yeah, I very much. Am I, am I Monica? Am I the deer? Am I am, am I the antler? Am I am I the antler in my head's gut? Or is this whole thing with her an antler in my gut? Or is this is just a, a gigantic oh warning God. sign that, that I'm ignoring because I'm in love with her? I mean, how do I know freaking know who or, or what okay. I am in this freaking Karina? metaphor? Karina? Karina. 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 First, yes. And don't relate to the situation because it's not the same. Am I just signing up for more pain? No. Okay, you know what? I don't think that's what's going on with you guys. You're both working yeah. really hard at this. I mean, she's seen Diane. And she's only yeah. seeing her because the department made her. Uh, the first she's session, not. sure. But we've kept working together. And she's not doing that for the job. She's doing that for you. For, you. for both of you. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Ask me, ask me the third question. You. The one that Diane wouldn't answer when we were upstairs. Okay, I'll, I'll do it for you. Do I, I know show. that you and Maya are going to make it through this and actually be better off for it? Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Of course, yes, I do. You are. I believe it. We all believe it. Oh, we all think you're going to be okay. Uh, now I have to go to the better baby. Hey, now see, could an antler do that? What? I didn't I'm so, you're not an antler. <clears throat> you're not an antler. Okay. You know what? I've had the same 
crazy exhausting day as both of you and not all of them can be winners all right yes. so i need the animals cannot deliver a baby yes we did it and yes thank you mm -hmm. we did it mm -hmm. yes still not over it <laughs> still great at this <laughs> still got it yes you still got it you still got it <laughs> what do you do with the dead animal yeah you want to stay for dinner? Yeah. I think we're having venison. Oh, oh my god, no, don't do that. No, man. Don't do that. <laughs> but I love Diane, oh my god. And I love Diane with Karina and with Vic. Love it. Best trio. I didn't need, I didn't know I needed. Yeah. I wish you would have let me switch places with yeah, you. Yeah, well, I told you I didn't need that. Well, I know, I was just gonna Vic, trade can it. Vic, we in. please not talk about it right now? Okay, what happened? Okay. She's like, so I'll not you, understand. I'll tell you, we, uh... On the call, we, Beckett, we strongly believe Beckett was drunk and it was a mess and everyone's still shaken up about it. Hey, I hope you're proud of yourselves, 19. This is not how we do things. The Beckett situation was being handled. Respectfully, Chief. No, 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 don't pretend a single one of you has any respect for me or this department. The hubris that pervades the day-to-day -day movements of this station is astounding. I don't know how it got this way, but it ends right now. Your actions today violated almost every protocol in the Seattle FD, and it just might have cost you all your jobs. Oh, God. Does what? someone want to explain to me what exactly went down in the field today? Beckett was presenting like he was under the influence, and... Uh, and we had to do something about it. Chief, listen. Yeah, it's, 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 this is what? what I'm talking about. Oh, you dog. Permission to speak, Chief? <laughs> Beckett was drunk, period. I think we can all bet our careers on that. We did bet our careers on that. We understood the repercussions of our actions, but we also knew that if it had gone any other way, we all wouldn't be standing here right now. We're firefighters, Chief. It's what we do, and we do it because we love this job. You just want to be safe so we can keep doing it. I appreciate your calm statement. <laughs> your calm statement. But your eloquence does not excuse your actions. Now I have to deal with it. Out of my sight. Yeah. All of you. Out of my sight. <laughs> She's like the mother and the kids and like, you messed up. You're grounded. Knock, knock. Nope. Please, no. Who's there? All right, it's not going to happen. They can't fire all of you. Yeah, they can. Mm. How are you going to fire all of them? She's going to text Karina. Text Karina. Come on. Do so, it. Uh, what does your wife think about it all? Oh, no, 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 we're definitely not at casual gripe about your day normal yet. We're definitely not at please help with this landslide in my head because this is all my fault. You think this is all your fault? I know it is. Because you gave him the bottle? Yeah, you heard about that? Yeah. But you were about to tell me about it regardless, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a monster. You're not a monster. There's a direct line between someone's death and my cruelty. I mean, what kind of person does something like that? The entire time, going to the liquor store, handing him the bottle, the look on his face, I felt like I'd won. Okay, in your defense, you had yeah. what could be called a nervous breakdown. Right? You, you yes. literally were not in your right mind. Cooper would be alive if it wasn't for me. We don't know that. We don't know no. what actually happened. This mutiny would have, have happened. He could have bought a bottle. We could be fired. Mm -hmm. All because... Because I, I, because I was... In a terrible place. Yeah. A terrible place that you have worked very hard to get yourself out of. Yeah, you're working through it, Maya. I have and to that talk was to the chief, okay? I have to ex explain. God, it feels like battery acid in my stomach. This guilt. The is... guilt is how you know you're a decent human being. A lot of people yeah. have done a lot worse and never felt an ounce of regret. I did an awful thing. You did. You did. And you can apologize for it when you are ready. Yeah. But he could have bought the bottle. Okay, he needs to get out. And if it wasn't your bottle, he'd have found another one. You exactly. have your part. He has his. You exactly. did not make him drink on the job. Yes. Exactly. That's not your fault. That's not on you. You did an awful thing. But that's not on you. What happened is not on you. And I love Ben being a dad, as usual, and telling them, and telling Maya, hey, I hope your day was not as awful as mine. I hope for a lot of things. I'm thinking about you. 
talking so I like it but I love the conversation between Maya and Ben I love it I think Ben is super right yeah she did an awful thing she needs to apologize but that was what happened was not her fault you, know you that. of all people should know better you think you have special privileges lieutenant <laughs> I'm wow. finished discussing this here and you've oh. already been dismissed all right Sully Sully I'll see you later, okay? I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it, okay? This Becca stuff has got into my head and I, I have to go to a meeting, okay? I, uh, I've i been missing them because I, I have to prioritize. Yeah, you need to be okay. I thought you were- I checked myself out and checked myself in. I, uh, I need help, Chief. Okay, that's good. I spoke to my union rep and I'm taking a leave of absence. Okay, this is how it ends. He's gonna get help, right? I really hope he's gonna get help. Seriously. But, okay, overall it was a great episode. I think the deer thing, I think, was the best part. Like, it was hilarious. It was funny. Like, Beck, Diane, Stefania, Karina, I mean, they're having fun. It was, it was funny. It was hilarious. The screaming, the cuteness about it. It was just a really fun to watch and it was enjoyable. The other part was a bit heavier. It was about the drinking with Beckett, about them taking uh, like the, the lead of because he's not okay. So I think that was a bit heavy and that's a lot of things that needed to be processed. And I think Beckett really needs to get help and I hope he does. Um, so I hope this leave of absence is not just, okay, I'm leaving, that's it. I think he needs to go get help. I hope he does. And maybe he can come back. But I don't, I mean, I don't really like Beckett all that much, but because they have never made him like a likable guy. And maybe he, maybe changed a bit, we could like him. Um, but I don't know. So I don't know if he's going to be back or when he's going to be back or if he's going to get help. I don't know. There's a lot of questions, but I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen. And also with May and Karina, I love the, okay, they're finally talking, but I think Maya still has a lot to process, a lot to deal with, a lot of things to face about her demons and I think this that just happened with Beck and all that really kind of started something else that was a bit left behind and now it kind of brought it back uh, to light and I think she's kind of needing to process that awful thing she did when she was in that very self-destructive mental state so I think she needs to realize she needs to understand okay I did something awful I need to apologize I need to own my actions but I didn't make him do it you know it was like if you hadn't given him the bottle he would have bought it in the liquor store in the corner he would have done it because that he has a drinking problem so it wasn't that wasn't her fault but I mean the the thing that Maya is it's okay that she's processing she's feeling the guilt that she needs to feel for what she did which was a bad thing I think after processing all of that after forgiving herself and asking I don't know if asking for forgiveness but like saying she's sorry um, I think that's gonna be something that she can move on from that and be like okay I did something awful but what happened wasn't my fault so yeah I don't know I think I'm excited to see that process of her growing and and kind of dealing with all the things that she has done and, and she has said and uh, well everything that she did well she was in this very dark place so it was a great episode I cannot wait for the next one and I'm gonna watch I, I hope there's um there's a promo I didn't I was about to forget that I, I always watch the promos and I didn't look for it so I need to look for it uh, which episode is this 12 promo so okay let's look at the promo for next week's episode and we are done with this reaction which is always super long because I keep talking like an annoying person okay let's see it it's called never gonna give you up okay I like the name of this when you break the chain of command okay. we call that a mutiny a mutiny calls for the termination of every party involved oh my god they uh, who's our captain me. it's me Who's their cops in his knee? Oh, damn. There aren't any snakes in these cops, Oh, this is when you're going. If you can hear me, call out! That's where they fell. Bishop? It's gonna be okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. She's having a panic attack? Oh my god, Maya's having a panic attack. Don't do this to me. Don't hurt her again. <laughs> She's like, Maya's like, 
bad. Everything's happening with Maya is bad. Like, like she gets to the hospital, she falls from the, the treadmill, and then she fights with Karina. Like, now she's going to have a panic attack inside the, the thing, and she's going to fall. Are you serious? I think this is going to be like, okay, this is it. Stop, hopefully. <laughs> I know we love for her and Maya, but this is a lot of her and Maya in a row, you know? It's a lot of emotions in a row, uh, but okay. Okay, maybe it's gonna be interesting. Maybe it's gonna be interesting. I really wanna see what the repercussions of whatever this is, is. Because if she has a panic attack, there's gonna be repercussions after, like, okay, what happened to you? Are you okay? Karina, like, babe, are you okay? Like, she's gonna worry, obviously, so. Um, I can't wait to see how that's gonna go. So yeah, I think I talked about the episode and I talked about the promo. So I think we are done for today and I cannot wait to watch the next one. So follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my Patreon, subscribe to my YouTube. I don't know where you're watching this. So do whatever that you haven't done and comment down below your thoughts. Give me a like, a heart, whatever, comment, thumbs up. I don't know, all of those things that you already know you should do. <laughs> okay, well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Ciao, Kente. Thank you.